relayed to us what, what some of these actual activities are about uh, uh, subrecipient monitoring. What do we do? Well, sure. Pass-through entities have certain responsibilities under OMB Circular A133. So as uh, pass-through entities, we want to make sure that we're engaging in all of these responsibilities. Mm -hmm. And so the first, I think, is really important, and that is letting the subaward or the subrecipients have information about the subaward. One would think that's pretty elementary, but you'd be surprised <laughs> at how many subawards come to, to an institution and they're missing some critical information. So you definitely want to make sure that you've included things like the number of the prime award, the prime sponsoring agency, and uh, the type of, of subaward that's being issued. Um, other responsibilities of a pass-through entity include uh, informing the subrecipients of the terms and conditions and the various mm -hmm. requirements that are associated with the prime award that will flow down or, or transfer to the subrecipient. Uh, it always helps to know what the terms and conditions are of the award that you're receiving. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> that would be a good thing, yeah. Yes, absolutely. And then, of course, there's the aspect of monitoring the subrecipient. But that really means keeping um, in touch with the subrecipients, understanding how their work is progressing, making sure that they're doing the right things with respect to managing the money and managing their portion of the research program or whatever the project happens to be focused on. Um, ensuring that the subrecipients have had their A133 audit if they are subject to that audit. And of course, reviewing those uh, audit findings if there are any and determining whether or not they apply to one or more of your subawards. And if so, engaging in a process where you are working with the subrecipient to determine whether or not the corrective action plan is appropriate and then ultimately that that is implemented.